hello all and welcome back today we are going to create this beautiful animation using morph transition and few hyperlinks in powerpoint this animation template is totally dynamic and you can jump into any option to review its content so let's get started with our tutorial as usual let's first enable the guides and then format the background with dark gray solid color Next select the very first slide and then duplicate it 5 times using Ctrl plus D just because we are creating 5 step template. Now select the first duplicate slide and change its background color using eyedropper tool. Similarly select each of these duplicate slides and change their background colors. Next select the first light, go to insert tab and then draw a rounded rectangle shape. Align it centrally to horizontal guide, make it completely rounded and adjust the size as required. Also remove its outline and change its fill color to white. Next go to insert tab and then draw a circle shape holding down shift key. Place it as shown and remove its outline. Now drag this circle holding down Ctrl and Shift keys to create a duplicate and place it at the bottom as shown. Duplicate this circle 3 more times using Ctrl plus D and place them as shown. Now select all these 5 circles holding down Shift key, go to align option and then distribute them vertically just to maintain even spacing. Now go to slide number 7 which has few PNG icons. Let's copy and paste it into slide number 1. Place each of these PNG icons centrally to each circle shape and as a next important step, we will hyperlink each of these PNG icons to each of the 5 duplicate slides. Select the first icon, go to insert tab and then click on action option. Here select hyperlink to option, select slide from the drop down list, select slide number 2 from the list and then click on ok buttons. Similarly, select second PNG icon and then go to action option, select the hyperlink to option, select slide from the drop down list, select slide number 3 from the list and then click on ok buttons. Follow the same steps and hyperlink next 3 PNG icons to slide number 4, 5 and 6. As a next important step, we will drag over all shapes and icons to select them and then copy and paste them into below 5 slides. Remember, all these PNG icons will still carry the hyperlinks with them. Now go to slide number 1, select all circle shapes holding down shift key and match their fill colors with the back end rectangle shape. Next go to slide number 2, select the first circle shape and match its fill color with the background color. Change the icon fill color to white and next very important step is to remove its hyperlink by again going to action option and selecting none. Finally select below 4 circles and match their fill color with the back end rectangle shape. Similarly, go to slide number 3, select the second circle shape and match its fill color with the background color. Change the icon fill color to white and remove its hyperlink by again going to action option and selecting none. Finally, select other 4 circles and match their fill color with the backend rectangle shape. Follow the same steps for other 3 slides, change their colors and remove the hyperlinks. One obvious reason why we remove the hyperlinks from each PNG icon is, say for example, you are in slide number 4. And as we know, third PNG icon is hyperlinked to slide number 4 itself. And obviously, we don't want user to click on third icon because at this point, the user will be already into slide number 4. Same logic holds good for other slides as well and that's the reason we remove hyperlinks from each icon 
of its respective hyperlinked slide. Next go to slide number 7, copy and paste the text fields into slide number 2 which is basically our topic number 1. Change its font color to white and align it properly. Next go to insert tab and then draw a rectangle shape over this text. Make it no fill and change its outline color to white. Align all the shapes properly to give it a professional look. Now copy this text and the rectangle shape and paste it into slide number 3 which is our topic number 2. Change the heading as number 2 and also replace 1s with number 2 as applicable. I am just changing these numbers just to show how heading and subtext will animate during the morph transition. For that each of the text content has to be different. Similarly copy this text and the rectangle shape and paste it into slide number 4 which is our topic number 3 and change the numbers. Follow the same steps to other slides as well. Let me speed up to save time. So finally, it's time to apply morph transition. For that, let's select all the slides, go to transition and apply morph transition. And also reduce the duration to 1 second. So here is the final preview of this beautiful animation. As I said before, this is highly dynamic template and the small circle will keep animating between the icons we select. That's all in this tutorial, hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.